What does it mean for your team to compete in a game like this against a number three opponent uh, in the early season? I think it means that, you know, we obviously are one of the top teams in the country. Um, I know we had, you know, a loss early in the season two, and, you know, we were playing some teams tight. But I think today was a really big step for us um, just to go out there and show the country that, you know, we are one of the best teams in the country going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number three team in the country. I think it just is a great step forward for us. Um, you know, we had some games before this that, you know, we probably didn't play, you know, as good as we wanted to, and we kind of, you know, squeaked by a couple games, but I think this one is a really good step for us, even though it wasn't the outcome that we wanted. I think it was a good building block, uh, especially for the next game that we play, because that's going to be another great team as well. You guys were up, you know, double digits though in the second half and, and with a minute to go, was there something in particular that didn't go right for you guys during the stretch? Uh, I guess we just didn't execute down the stretch, I feel like. Um, I think we turned the ball over a couple of times down the stretch. Um, we just didn't execute uh, what we drew up and, you know, the ball just didn't fall our way today in the last couple of minutes. No, we can do about that for real. Um, in the last game against Ohio, they, they grabbed a lot of offensive boards and got a lot of second chance points. First half, you guys didn't allow a single offensive board. Was that something in practice you guys were kind of working on or is that just circumstances that happened? Yeah, yeah. Um, all, pre all prep we played with, uh, you know, when we guarded them, we had a uh, Blocker on the basket, so everything would be a miss. So we had to work on offensive, I mean, work on defensive rebounding. That's something that you know, obviously, we've been lacking. Um, it's something that we knew was going to be a key factor for us today, and I think you know we did a really good job. Like you said, we didn't allow one for the first half. I think the second half, uh, you know, those ones that we did allow kind of hurt us a little bit, but it's still a great improvement on what we've been doing. One of either five or six from three in the second half, but I think seven of thirteen in the first half, Hunter, I mean, what were you seeing in some cross-court passes, getting people open, and, and is that really when this offense is clicking, when you, when you play inside out, and let your shooters like Jaren and other guys shoot? Yeah, I'd say that's when we're at our best, because it's, you know, it's really hard for us to, for other teams to guard us. Um, obviously, teams are going to try to send two at me um, on occasion, and so, you know, I trust my guys uh, when I pass it out. You know, we got guys that can shoot this year, and I think we showed that, you know, in the first half. And I think, you know, it's just a matter of shots going in um, and just that kind of remain confident um, in one another and in yourself. Terrence, on that final play, when you get your rebound off the miss, what's going through your mind? What are you trying to do? Yeah, so I was just dribbling uh, the ball downhill. I know Jay had the high hand, and I know the, the play the, uh, in the huddle before, we were trying to get the ball to him. So uh, I saw him in the corner you know, trying to do a dribble handoff. Uh, and let him work because he's a great shot maker and we trust him and we trust the shots he takes. So that's what we was drawing up. Uh, that's what we told him to do. So I just want to get him the ball and I trust my teammate, whatever he did with it. A uh, few games into the season, the rotation still seems to be that there's three or four people being subbed in at once. Is that, I mean, that's a bit unique. How, how do you guys feel about that? How, how did that impact the game? Yeah, I think that's, you know, how most teams do it early on in the season. You're just trying to play. Um, you know, have that probably a deeper bench than normal just to figure out guys' roles and guys' minutes and stuff like that because we're still, we're still uh, learning and still, I guess, like on the fly, like, you, um, like some would say. Still just trying to figure stuff out. You know, we're not a complete team and we don't have, you know, the rotations finalized yet. So we're just trying to, we're still trying to plug in and, you know, see where guys are at their best, see which lineups are at the best and stuff like that. I think, you know, we pride ourselves on being uh, deep and next man up and stuff like that. So for us to have guys come in, you know, we trust that they um, sustain, you know, whatever leads or, you know, even um, raise the level of intensity when they come out there. They have 44 points in the paint, I think 16 of 28 uh, on layups. Um, what, what was what was so difficult about stopping them from, from getting in the basket and taking the boards? Yeah, we, you know, we just, we could take the ball, but we just didn't get take it at a great level. Uh, P.A. Clark, he's very crafty, um, good point guard, so he was getting the paint a lot, and we had to make some halftime adjustments to try to stop him, but, you know, they just they were just getting past uh, our, us as defenders, and we just got to contain the ball more and keep our chest in front of the ball. You guys are, you know, solid basketball veterans. You know, this would have been a, a big win. You got a tough stretch coming up. Uh, I guess how hard will it be to kind of move past it? 
Uh, I mean, it's gonna be hard. Like right now, it's tough. It's tough on us, but the beauty of it is, uh, you know, it's early in the season. Uh, the beauty of it is, we have many more games in the season, and you know, we're gonna take this as a learning experience. We're gonna continue to learn from it and get ready for Kentucky. But you know, games like this just gives the NCAA feel. Uh, this win would have definitely helped us, but you know, we just learn from it and you know, get ready for Kentucky and Big Ten play coming up. Got time for a couple more. When you look at you know where you guys were leaving your last overseas trip to you know tomorrow going on another overseas trip, how would you kind of describe the the progress that you've seen in terms of what you were hoping for? I guess speed wise, for lack of a better word. I would say you know today was probably the biggest step that we took. Um, I think it was just a really good showing for us. In our discipline, I think that's something that we were lacking um, in the first part of the season, in the first couple of games of the season. I think we weren't as disciplined as you know we we want to be, and you know as disciplined as a coach our team should be. I think today we really, because I mean Virginia runs a good offense. They got one of the best coaches in the country, and so you know they're they're going to make you really be solid and patient on defense, and that's something that you know we were lacking. I'd say before this game, so I'm just really proud of. You know, with my, my teammates guarded, you know, their actions and stuff like that, we did a really good job of just staying solid and patient on defense. What's been the biggest thing kind of stressed on defense? I know that, you know, watching those guards, they aren't talented personnel, this time is a rare effort, wherever it may be. Like, what's kind of been the thing being stressed on defense? I think, um, like I said, like that um, discipline on defense of, I think sometimes, you know, before this game, we would have guys like, three guys playing defense and then two guys would, you know, just miss an assignment or be four guys playing defense, one guy would miss an assignment on a certain play. I think this this um, game today, I think we had all five guys really locked in on defense. Um, you know, they just made some tough shots, but I think we did a really good job and made a big step in just that discipline of, you know, locking in on every possession. Before that, Terrence, you were talking about the timeouts, uh, you know, before the final play. Uh, you missed, so you ended up being down for three no matter what or uh, nah I mean we, we did we went over both scenarios uh but I mean it still kind of was the same play uh one of the players get downhill uh look for a kick out to the other player that coach Howard put on the play so now nah, it was the same thing no matter what same play call all right fellas appreciate your time thank you go blue